Welcome to BC Mnemonics. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the planispheric astrolabe and how it can be used as a solar compass. Now in previous videos, I've discussed how the planispheric astrolabe manipulates three key variables, those being the altitude of the sun or star, the time, and the date. With any two of these known, the third can be determined, but not only that, but also the cardinal directions can be determined as well. So with any two of those variables known, the position of the sun in the celestial coordinate grid can be found. And that, along with its azimuth in particular, is how the cardinal directions can be determined. So for our purposes, for our demonstration, let's just, let's just assume that the time and the date are known. So as you can see, the rule is currently pointing to roughly 2, uh, 220. 225, let's say, and the date is currently 10 degrees into Leo. Now, with those two variables known, we can see the current position of the sun within the celestial coordinate grid. It is currently 50 degrees up in the western portion of the sky, but more importantly than its altitude, we have its azimuth, which is, as you count from this western point, 10, 20, roughly 25 degrees south of west. Now this is very important. As we turn to the reverse side, we can assume that um, the entirety of the astrolabe can essentially act as a compass rose. So we have north, south, east, west. Um, the cardinal directions mapped to points on this circle. So. As we refer back to the front of the astrolabe, we see that the sun is currently 10, 20, 25 degrees south of west. Now keep in mind that the stereographic projection results in these reverse directions, so uh, up is indeed uh, south in this model. So 20, 25 degrees south of west, we can position that with the alidate. So south being here, west being here, we go to, to the western portion, bring the alidade 20 degrees toward the southern, or 20 to 25 degrees toward the southern uh, area of the astrolabe. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, right there, as you can see along the outer degree scale. And now the only thing that's left is to point this alidade at the current azimuth of the sun. So Let's just pretend the, uh, the current azimuth of the sun is this direction straight outward from me, and the real sun is casting a shadow on this sighting vein that uh, coincides with, the, uh, with this rear sighting vein. At this moment, I know that the sun is currently positioned directly uh, in front of me, and that the body of the astrolabe is telling me all four cardinal directions. So if the sun is currently 25 degrees south of west, and this is pointed 25 degrees south of west, I know that this is west, and by extension, this is north, east, and south. Thank you for watching, and I hope this demonstration uh, helped you.